Hey everyone, it's Gareth Pearson here, and if you're new to my channel, please click on the like, subscribe, and notification button. We'll be updated on all my latest videos. In this lesson, we're going to look at my arrangement of I'll Fly Away. And if you want to follow along with the sheet music and tablature, there's a link in the description section below. So I'll perform this for you and break it down section by section. So here we go. I'll fly away. One, two, three. so that's our fly away now let's have a look at the key information moving forward i have a capo on the second fret i'm in standard tuning and i have a thumb pick on my right thumb to help with the articulation and i'm playing in the key of c even though it's technically in d uh, i'm going to be addressing everything as if we're in the key of c okay so now that we know that let's tackle this piece okay so the best way i can teach this is by breaking it down into three sections and each section has an A and a B so like a verse and a chorus so the first time round I pretty much just play it straight through as a finger picking piece the second time round I have some other kind of variations and some licks that we can pay a little closer attention to and then the last time round I'm kind of finger picking it but with just different variations again and right at the end there's a tag so we're gonna be looking at possibly three ways of playing it and with some variations towards the end so let's tackle it here's the first time round it's gonna be standard just straight finger picking so here we go one two three four So that's the, the verse, the first time we play the verse. I'm playing from C to F. Okay, and the melody is kind of being triggered with my pinky finger on my left hand, going on the fourth fret, and on the third fret, B string. Okay, then we get to F. And that F chord, you can see the thumb is coming over the first fret on the low E string of the neck of the guitar. And I'm hammering on from the G onto the second fret G string. Then back to C. to 
this G9 chord. And you can see I'm walking up with that bass line there. Again. Then to F to C. So that's the verse. I'll play it one more time. So that's the first verse. Now we're going to have a look at the chorus. There's very similar moves going on. It's you're playing the same chords, C, F, and G. But uh, the first melody note is on that high E string there. Did you see that? I'm bending up a little there. Adding some character on that third fret B string with my pinky finger. Don't miss that. Then we get to F. Hammer on. Back to C. Okay, so I'm climbing up these bass lines a lot. So. And then we get to F. Then we climb up that bass. That's a quick C, F, C. Again, we're reaching to that full fret. So, back to G9. So let me play that chorus one more time slowly. So that's how you play the first time round. Now let's have a look at the second time round. We're going to start with a lower register melody. Okay, there's a couple of things going on here. We're starting with this Maybell Carter technique where we're playing the melody on the bass line and while keeping a rhythm going. So it goes like this. Okay, so if I wanna kind of explain this, I'm sticking to the chord, so we're in C, and I'm playing the melody on those chords or melody notes, um, you know, like uh, scale notes. And at the same time, my thumb is playing the notes, but my index finger is flicking down and up to get an extra chord on top. So I'm going. C. 
see that. My thumb is getting that hammer on onto the D string, uh, second fret. And then my fingers coming down, playing that top of the C chord. And I'm strumming it. So it's like a down strum. And I'm flicking with my nail too. I mean, you can do it like that. You can also do it with your middle finger too. So explore whatever you feel comfortable with, but the sound is technically the same, so. So that's kind of Maybell carter -y. Then I get into this Chet Atkins territory, which is basically this. And that is scale notes. Like a C major scale, but within every note, every other note, I'm playing the open G string. And that's done by basically the thumb playing the melody note and then the index finger is bouncing off with the open G string. So, and when I play this, I'm not kind of, I'm not holding down on those notes. I'm uh, like, I'm fretting them and then releasing. So they're kind of, uh, susti uh, they're not sustained. Staccato. Okay, and then I come down to this C major scale. And that's played in banjo cluster style, where I, you know, every other string is played with an open note. Or, or an alternative uh, string, so you're not playing. You're going. So it all rings on. And I pick up this. And then come down to C there. And you can see I'm getting that G note on the, the low E. And that's a classic check move there. Okay, so. So let me play that slowly for you. Okay, let's have a look at the first part of the second chorus. We're going to be starting with finger picking patterns and then going into a few licks here. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, let me take it from there. Okay, so we're starting with the finger picking here. come up to the 10th fret and start basically chicken picking. All right, and that's kind of like a thumb index and then middle. And we're going thumb index on the D string, making it staccato and then coming up with our middle finger on the B string. You could kind of mute the first one. But you're going down. Okay. Then we get to this F. You know, and we could just go. But I like to get the bass line on top of there. 
Okay, then we come to this leg. And that's basically a pull off. Okay, then we're coming down, we're pulling off on this A string or this A note on the G string. And then as we pull off, we hit the C note on the A string. Which lands us back into finger picking. All right, then we get back to some chicken picking. index thumb middle then this leg and I'm holding the thumb pick as a flat pick there and then we got this Doc Watson thing kind of going on So that's how you play the second part of the second chorus. All right, so let's have a look at the final verse. The third verse is basically finger picking patterns again. Whee! But we got some variations going on here as well. So it's all fun, it's all new. Let's check it out. Here we go. got to spot some of the new things going on here so we're adding a bit more dissonance with the melody here so it's um and i tend to like to come closer to the words, the end of the guitar here to make it more aggressive okay and that's just basically clashing by using my pinky finger on the 4th fret B string and the high E string open and I get to this F7 that adds a different texture there alright so that's with my thumb over the top get to this Mill Travis walk in the strings thing so I go and that's basically barring down on the fifth fret on my pinky on the eighth fret high E string okay and I get to this C here with my thumb over the top of the neck. And then back to the. And then I get into the chorus, the last chorus. So let me play this one time slowly for you. Let's have a look at the final chorus. We go. Taking it from.
from there, we're just playing the melody. Here. I'm playing a new chord, that's a C7. But I'm striking that low G2. Alright. Then I get to this F shape, which is basically this. But my thumb is coming over. And my pinky finger is striking the melodies. Back to C. get to the last time round where I add in a tag which is basically an A minor chord because it'll just tell you yeah, okay something's happening I think it's ending so we're gonna go okay then F okay and then I get to this A flat 9 then G9 And then the final lick goes like this. All right, and that's just a standard lick. And I'm flat picking that with my thumb pick. I'm holding it together. And then I come up to the 10th fret, pull off. Okay, and I get Open E. Something like that. So I'm basically going from this and then to C. There's my clash again. So let me play that final chorus with the tag slowly for you. That's everything you need to know on I'll Fly Away. Thanks again for watching this lesson and if you haven't already please like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification button we will be updated on all my latest videos. Thanks again and God bless you all. Cheers.